Hey guys, this is Gian of Gadget Pilipinas and One More Game. Welcome back to the channel. This is uh, the second video in our series where we talk about XSplit Game Caster by Split Media Labs. And again, this is in collaboration with our friends uh, of uh, Split Media Labs. And again, as I mentioned in our previous episode, I highly encourage you guys to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell because we're giving away something for the month of May. This is a Realme C3, details of which is in the description down below. Now, for this episode, ang pag-uusapan natin ay kung ano ba ang basics or foundations if you want to stream your games using XSplit Game Caster. The specs required depends on the game you want to play on your gaming PC. Hindi naman kinakailangan sobrang mahal o sobrang beefed up yung, yung gaming PC para lang makapag-stream ka properly because Game Caster automatically adjusts its settings based on how your PC can manage it. Of course, I highly encourage you to check out our website, gadgetfilipinas.net because we prepared for you some build guides. If hindi ka pa nakapagbibuild ng PC mo or if you're on the path of upgrading your current PC. We also have benchmarks in our build guides so that alam nyo kung gaano kalakas ang PC na nire-recommend namin. Now let us proceed to uh, the meat of our discussion. Now if you want to play your favorite games like Valorant, Dota 2, League of Legends, and the CSGO, you will at least need a quad-core PC with 8 gigs of RAM and a discrete video card. Or go for our 25,000 build guide posted on our website. The link is also in the description down below. But if you want to play and stream titles like uh, PUBG, Call of Duty Warzone, Escape from Tarkov, you will need a better PC or mas malakas na PC. Uh, or at least a 50,000 uh, build guide that uh, we prepared for you. You can go and check it out in the description down below or you can just simply pause this video right now so you can take a snapshot of uh, the build or builds that uh, we prepared uh, for you. We have uh, several choices to choose from. Uh, meron kang uh, 27,000 worth uh, that would allow you to play some titles but of course you also have a 50,000 worth of a build guide that will allow you to play some titles that will require beefier setups. Now, the next thing that you need to have uh, when you stream your game is video and audio. Most streamers have a camera setup for the purpose of showing their reactions during gameplay and to interact with the audience more effectively. Now, what's good about XSplit Gamecaster is that it is compatible with most, if not all, of the cameras uh, for streaming. Uh, if you're streaming using a gaming laptop, pwede mo gamitin yung built-in webcam if you want to. But if you want something naman na mas maganda yung quality, then we would suggest that you invest or get a Logitech C920 or C922. Ito yung mga pinakasikat na mga streaming camera available in the market right now. But if you want really something na professional looking uh, with uh, over-the-top specifications from Logitech, you can also try out Logitech Brio, uh, which allows you to stream up to 4K. And of course, if you have uh, the gills to purchase one, because it is a little pricey, if I may say. However, hindi ko mara recommend to if you're just starting in the world of game streaming. If you're camera shy, then maybe you can just simply uh, point your camera to your mouse and keyboard if you want to, or just simply uh, display a photo of yourself or a GIF of yourself while playing the game. But then again, uh, different strokes for different folks, guys. Uh, nasa inyo, kung paano nyo uh, gagawin niyan at kung paano kayo makipag-interact or engage with your audience. But most importantly, the reason why we're uh, encouraging you to do this or have at least a camera is at least for you to be able to really engage with them face to face. Ngayon, kung walang software ang gaming headset mo, o kaya naman ay walang way for you to be able to remove that background noise, you can try to download RTX Voice. That is something that you can use. If you want to, it works whether you're using an RTX uh, GPU or non-RTX. There's actually uh, a guide for you to do that on our website, gadgetfilipinas.net. Or Expert Game Caster actually has a tool for that. It automatically adjusts the settings for you via XSplit Gamecaster. 
Now, kung gusto mo naman halimbawa na stand alone dedicated microphone ang gusto mo, swak na swak and we can recommend the BM800. Link of where you can buy it is in the description down below. Hopefully, Lazada and Shopee would be able to deliver already right after ECQ or even during ECQ. Siyempre, kung hinahanap pa naman ay uh, studio grade, then you might want to get yourself a Blue Yeti. It's uh, one of the uh, famous na mga microphone na ginagamit ng mga streamers worldwide. Siyempre, pagdating talaga sa audio, ang recommendation namin is kumamit kayo ng uh, headset other than you using a speaker. Kasi baka ma-pick up ng microphone mo yung sound na nanggagaling doon sa speaker. But if you do not have a headset and you, you still prefer using uh, your uh, speaker, then you might as well turn on the settings ng uh, noise background remover uh, from uh, Xplit uh, Gamecaster. It's a very powerful tool and uh, you will thank uh, Xplit Gamecaster for that. Next is, kailangan mo ng uh, fiber connection. Yes, fiber connection ang kailangan mo kasi napakalaking factor yung upload speed when streaming games. Kailangan mo at least ng 3 to 5 Mbps to stream at 720p or 1080p resolution. Siyempre, mas maganda at recommended namin yung 8 Mbps so you can go as high as 6500 uh, bitrate on your uh, streams. Now, kung di naman talaga nun ka-stable ang inyong internet connection, you can still try. You can uh, tweak your settings, yung bitrate and resolution via XSplit Gamecaster. It's actually very easy to do as you can see in the video right now. Ganon ka-flexible at saka ganon ka-user-friendly itong uh, free tool ito from uh, Split uh, Media Labs. And that's it! Yun ang mga basic equipment that you need if you want to stream your game on PC. Pero wait! We're not done yet. No? Yun lang yung mga basics. If you want to know more, here are some streaming equipment to level up your stream quality. Ang isa sa mga pinaka-simple pero effective ay proper lighting. No, hindi mo kailangan mag-invest ng studio lights sa uh, kagaya ng meron sa amin dito. We have uh, several uh, lights right here. We have one light there, one other light there, another light pointing at me. Kahit maliit at uh, simple na ring light, pwede na yan for as long as it will improve the quality of uh, your lighting. At kapag maganda naman ang lighting mo, pwede mong gamitin yung mga key light or green screen features that are available in uh, XSplit Gamecaster. So available yan. But only use those features if uh, you have proper uh, lighting conditions or may mga in-invest ka ng mga lighting equipment uh, for your streams. Siyempre, you can also invest on a secondary or third monitor if you want to. This will allow you to uh, see several uh, sources that are running. Uh, you can also see and switch to various scenes if you want to without you getting through the in-game HUD, which is very, very effective and very useful. At uh, this also get rid of you doing some alt-tab uh, while uh, playing the game. Minsan nakaka, um, nakakawala ng focus kapag nag alt tab ka in-game just for you to be able to interact. No? So para seamless yung uh, streaming experience, having that second and uh, or third monitor would be very handy. Ngayon, kung gusto mo naman ng uh, mas madaling pag-stream at you don't want to use your keyboard from switching from one scene to another, then you might as well also get yourself uh, a Stream Deck. This is uh, Elgato Stream Deck and it's available here in the Philippines as well. You can assign hotkeys for muting your mic. You can change scenes if you want to. You can queue transitions, launch apps, and more with this tool without you having to go through Alt-Tab, without you fiddling through your keyboards while playing your game. Now, this episode is dedicated for streaming PC games, but uh, for our next episode, we will be talking about streaming your Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 games. And how do you do that? Of course, if you want to do that or kung nandun ka sa niche na yun or topic na yun, then you might as well also invest on a capture card but then again as i mentioned earlier we'll reserve that for another video so there you have it guys you can make the most of your streaming equipment with what you have thanks to xbit game casters flexibility or take things up a notch with specialized streaming gears but take note guys People will support you for who you are and your fans will support you for as long as you improve your craft along with your production quality.
Again, this has been Gian of GadgetPhilippines.net. This is our second episode on how to use Expert Gamecaster using your PC. Again, for those of you who are currently watching right now, I highly encourage you to click that subscribe button and that notification bell because we're giving away something for the month of May. This is a Realme C3, details of which is in the description down below. See you guys on the next episode where we talk about the full details on how you start streaming using all the equipment that we have and all your knowledge on how to use Expert Gamecaster. See ya!